Well, tomorrow kicks off day three of the Eureka Black trial. Now you may remember she is the mother on trial accused of throwing two of her children off a bridge into Cross Lake. KSLA News 12's Tamer Knight was in court today and has the latest details. Emotions ran extremely high inside the Cattle Parish Courthouse as Eureka Black appeared back in court for day two of her trial. I spent the day inside the courtroom and here's what happened. Eureka Black announced yesterday that she would represent herself during trial. However, prior to court beginning today, Black asked that attorney Elizabeth Gibson be removed from the counsel table. Black says Gibson presence offends her and made claims that Gibson has a bad reputation within the jail. Gibson was ordered by the judge to sit in the gallery during trial on standby in case Black needs her. Also in court today, there were a number of witnesses who took the stand, including Elijah Black, the son who survived the attack. A video recording of his interview at the Gingerbread House was played to the jurors, and he also took the stand in court. However, this part of the trial was closed to the public. Responding police officers, first responders, the forensic pathologist, the homeowner of the address officials were dispatched to, and one of Eureka's sisters all took the stand. One responder saying that Elijah Black told him his mother rolled him from the bridge. Black argues officials are out to get her and her family. She says evidence jurors seen today is false and tampered. Now court will resume at 9.30 a.m. tomorrow. We will have updates both on air and on our News 12 app. In the studio, I'm Tamer Knight, KSLA News 12.